So here I am Sai Kamrudi from Tripoli Department and now I take uh, the section, session on uh, power system operation and control. Okay, so now power system, something called power system motion and control. Regarding the how how to how this power system is being operated and what are the basic uh, uh, requirements for the power system to get operated in an efficient way and how to control the power system. So the word called controlling the power system is nothing but optimally control the power system. Optimally. Uh, the power is being 
deliver is it equal to 0 degrees 0 degrees is generally taken as reference so from that 0 degrees to which angle uh, our voltage uh, our voltage uh, is being uh, delivered so that voltage is not a scalar quantity it is a vector quantity so this voltage is a vector quantity which takes up the magnitude of the voltage as well as the angle to which the power uh, voltage is being delivered so this is regarding our voltage quantity so we need to know all these concepts in e at each bus then only we can know that whether it is having some harmonic stacks well everything like these values so to know these uh, uh, four parameters these are very 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 important when coming to the power system what are those active power reactive power magnitude of your voltage and the angle at the at, at your voltage end okay so that angle these are your four values so these four values can be an, an analyzed by load flow analysis method that means load flow analysis method that means what is this load flow analysis is at uh, during load conditions is our uh, power system in, incurred with these losses or without the power without the load is the power system in, uh, getting incurred generally uh, uh, at a practical condition whenever we are uh, checking out the power system we all know that it, it will definitely have some load without load we will not operating our power system because whatever the energy that is being generated has to be utilized at some end like uh, 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 like any of the motor or any of the generator like this so any of the motors or any of your uh, other type of equipment or, uh, or driving loads or something like that speed uh, governing system so it's like everything Power. So it is all the power system equipment will be under uh, calculated under your load flow only. It will be calculated only under your load flow. So to, to analyze this load flow analysis and to get the values of active power, reactive power, voltage, and uh, angle of the uh, voltage. So that method or that uh, there are four methods to get these. The uh, first thing we will be understanding load. Which are called as SLFE equations. SLFE equations. Load flow equations or static load flow equations, we call them. So, using the static load flow equations and using the four methods called cost method. Yeah. 
singular transformation method which will be further dealt in the uh, uh, further classes but before understanding these two uh, direct inspection method and singular transformation method we need to know what is a primitive network because this primitive network will be helpful in dealing out with the singular transformation method okay now primitive network a primitive network is a base network or a basic network which is used nothing but the interconnection of one or two elements one or more elements interconnection is nothing is, is a primitive network so this primitive network as we are dealing with the power systems it may be having impedance value it may be having admittance value so the uh, so these primitive networks are of two forms one is impedance form impedance form of the primitive network and other one is admittance form of the primitive network because in a power system we know that so we we in a in, uh, impedance network we will be having r plus jx because every power system will be having resistor and reactor okay and admittance network will be having conductance plus susceptance conductance plus susceptance so it is a uh, 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 any network will be having a passive elements will be having will be generally composed of passive elements called resistor reactor and capacitor so this reactor and capacitor is nothing but in uh, reactance and resistance is uh, is taken in form of r so impedance value can be taken as r plus jx so your power system network will be having either in the form of impedance form or in the form of admittance so now let us understand the impedance basic first we will know what is an impedance form of the network so that impedance form let me draw a circle and explain the impedance form of the network clearly just take this analyze this circuit further 